we are asked to find the perimeter and the area of the given polygon. The perimeter of any polygon is the length around the outside of the polygon, which means to find the perimeter, we need to sum the lengths of all of the sides. But notice how some of the lengths of the sides are missing. Let's begin by determining the lengths of the missing sides. Notice how the length of this side must be the same length as the opposite side, which is six meters, and therefore this side length must be six meters. And then this length must be the same length as this side, which is three meters. The length of this side is also three meters. And now let's focus on determining the length of this side here. Notice how the opposite side is nine meters long. And then this side has a length of two meters. This side has a length of three meters. We should be able to recognize the sum of the lengths of these three sides must be nine meters. And therefore, because this is two meters and this is three meters, the length of this side must be four meters. Now that we have the lengths of all the sides, we can determine the perimeter of the polygon. Starting with this side here, the perimeter is two meters plus three meters plus four meters plus three meters plus three meters plus six meters plus nine meters and finally plus six meters. Determining the sum, two plus three plus four is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15, plus six is 21, plus nine is 30, plus six is 36. The perimeter is 36 meters. Below we enter 36, and we select the units of meters. Next, we're asked to find the area of the polygon. And there are a couple ways of doing this. We could break this up into three rectangles, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. But I think it would be easier if we take a different approach. What we could do is find the area of this large rectangle. And of course, this is too much area. But if we then find the area of this rectangle, and then subtract this area, this will leave us with the area of the given polygon. Let's take this approach. Remember, the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So the area of the polygon is equal to the area of the large rectangle, which has a length of nine meters and a width of six meters, and therefore the area is nine meters times six meters, and then minus this extra area here, which is a four meter by three meter rectangle, and therefore the area is four meters times three meters. Simplifying, nine times six is 54. We have 54 minus, four times three is 12. And this difference is 42, which means the area of the given polygon is 42 square meters, which means exactly 42 square meters will fit inside the given polygon. Below we enter 42 and select the units of square meters or meters squared. I hope you found this helpful.